हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द मॉड्यूल टू ओके दैट इज द टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म्स ओके सो टिल नाउ इन मॉड्यूल फ्रॉम मॉड्यूल टू आई हैव कवर्ड मेनी मेनी कॉन्सेप्ट बट दिस वन चैप्टर इज पेंडिंग फ्रॉम मॉड्यूल टू विच आई हैव नॉट डन दैट इज रिलेटेड टू जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म ओके the definition of z transform uh, with respect to the this subject that is dsp the z transform in mathematics is different and with respect to digital signal processing the conversion of uh, uh, from uh, k domain to z domain or n domain to z domain using uh, shifting properties and all the dft properties you should be knowing how to do the conversion of dsp digital signal processing in convert in the z domain okay for that the z uh, to to know the z transform it is very important so in this uh, session i am just going to do the introduction part of z transform how basically to solve the problems related to z transform what is the definition and some of the simple uh, sequences i am giving you to convert it how it looks like to convert it in that sequence to the z domain okay just to give you a brief idea about it i am not going to solve any problems i am just going to show whatever is written in the notes and try to explain it to you all this whole uh, chapter itself z transform okay i am not going to solve even a single problem because this is very easy and uh, the definition part and all the uh, how to understand this z transform all of them i have already solved it and kept it i am just going to explain it to you all some of the properties of z transforms are also there okay in the mentioned that uh, in the syllabus they have mentioned it clearly statements only okay in the bracket if you observe the syllabus copy so no more uh, no detailed problems are there just the formula or the property formula and just for under that one simple example problem i have solved it and kept just to make you understand okay yeah so let us see that first not much important this later on but still if it's there in the syllabus so i decided to cover it to you all okay z transform definition in uh, with respect to dsp is x of z is equal to summation of n tends from minus infinity to plus infinity x of n z to the power minus n so this is the basic definition of z transform so let us see some of the example pro sequences how to convert from that sequence to z domain and what are the changes we obtain let us see that okay by using this definition So the question here they have given it as find the z transform of the following equations or the sequences and also find its region of convergence. Okay, ROC. What is that ROC stands for? Region of conversion or uh, convergence? What is it? That uh, ROC is the entire z plane except z is equal to zero. Okay, except the value of z equal to zero, the rest all the values are the region of convergence. Okay. Hmm. Let us see now. This is the first sequence given. X one of n. They have given it as one two five seven zero one. How to convert it into z domain is use this formula. So x one of n would be equal to x one of z. N domain would be converted to z domain using this z transform. Apply this formula. That is one x of n. So x of first is x of zero. That is one into z to the power minus n. That is its summation from minus infinity to infinity. So here uh, just uh, substitute the values. That is Z to the power minus zero, right? So Z to the power any uh, Z to the power if it is zero, that is equal to one. So one into one is one itself plus two into Z to the power minus one, since it is x of one. So two Z inverse plus five Z to the power minus two plus seven Z to the power minus three plus zero into Z to the power minus four. I have not written it because zero into anything is zero only, so I have neglected it. Next is plus one Z to the power minus five. Okay. So in this way, you should be representing it in the z domain. Hope this is clear. One sequence to represent it in z domain. Very important. You should be knowing it how. Okay. Here, the region of convergence is the entire z plane except z is equal to zero. Okay. Why the region of convergence is the entire z plane? Because if we substitute the value of z equal to zero here, what you would be getting? So suppose let us see, let us consider this two z inverse here. Okay, if we in two z inverse we can write it as two divided by z to the power one, right? So if we substitute the value of two uh, z here as two uh, z power one is z only. So if we substitute it as zero, we would be getting two divided by zero that is equal to infinity. So our goal is we should not be getting the infinity term. Okay, so that's why should be getting our uh, z domain 
uh, that is this uh, z transform is equal to infinity okay so here the one term if we substitute is infinity here also all of them would be equal to infinity so infinity plus 1 is infinity only so except z equal to 0 the uh, for all the values of z we won't be getting the answer as infinity okay so that's why the region of convergence is the entire z plane except z equal to 0 our goal is you should not be getting infinity in the equation if we get infinity uh, that is not that does not come under the z plane okay hope it is clear so let us see few more problems x2 of n is equal to sequence is given the same 1 2 5 7 0 1 but here they have mentioned the arrow mark okay if suppose the, if they mention one arrow mark in the sequence what which that arrow mark indicates the zeroth point okay that is here the value of uh, here the value of n would be equal to zero okay this is the zeroth point this is minus one minus two minus three uh, according to the definition zero first second third this is minus one -th term this is minus tooth term okay whenever this arrow is indicated so what would be the uh, z, z transform that is z square that is 1 into z square since this is minus 2 according to the definition z to the power minus n minus of minus 2 that would be z square right similarly here this is minus 1th term so 2 into z to the power minus of minus 1 is plus 1 so we would be getting 2z plus this is the 0th term so 5 into z power 0 is 5 itself plus 7z inverse plus 0z power minus 2 plus z to the power minus 3. So this is z x2 of z. So here in this case the region of convergence ROC is the entire z plane except z is equal to 0 and infinity. We here we are why we are having uh, the value of z as 0 as well as infinity because if you observe in this equation carefully we have some of the positive powers and the negative powers. If here if we put the value of z equal to 0 in this case, in this equation, if we put here it would be 0 only, it won't be changing. But here we have, since here we have again the negative powers, for negative powers if we put the value of 0, we would be getting infinity. Again if you put the value of in, as infinity directly here, since the powers are positive, infinity square is infinity, to, uh, again infinity to the power 1 is infinity, so again we would be getting the whole term as infinity only. So region of convergence is the entire z plane except the values of z should not be equal to 0 and infinity. Okay. Yeah. Next is again, uh, again we have some questions here. Okay. x3 of n this is one sequence. Okay. This is the straightforward sequence here. Here we have 0th term, 0, 1 term. Uh, it is 0 so that I have not written it. I have directly started from 1 z to the power minus 2, 2 z power minus 3, 5 z power minus 4, 7 z power minus 5, 0 z power minus 6 plus z power minus 7. Again in this case we have only the negative power so that's why the ROC is the entire z plane except z is equal to 0. Okay. Again here now the arrow is marked indicates that this is the 0th term so this would be 2 z square plus 4 z plus 5 plus 7 z inverse plus z power minus 3. Again in this case the ROC is the entire z plane except z is equal to 0 comma infinity since we have both the positive as well as negative powers. Okay. Next let us see x5 of n is equal to we have given it as uh, dou of n delta of n this stands for unit uh, sample sequence right delta of n if you observe here we have discussed in our previous classes that is it's uh, if you convert it in z domain that would be equal to 1 this we have seen when we are solving the direct form structures right so ROC is the entire z plane here okay since we don't have uh, any z term here so this is the entire z plane here again like uh, de delta of n minus k here at the power here in, in this place you have minus k so z to the power minus k ROC is the entire z plane except z equal to 0 because we have a negative term x7 of n delta of n plus k so this would be z power k it's in, in z domain ROC is the entire z plane except z equal to infinity since we have positive term okay Next is x8 of n is equal to delta of n plus 7 delta of n minus 1 plus 8 delta of n plus 2. If you convert it in z domain, the answer is 1 plus 7 since we have n minus 1 so z inverse plus 8 since we have n plus 2 so z square. Okay, this is ROC is the entire uh, z plane except z is equal to 0 comma infinity again since we have both positive and negative powers. Okay, yeah. So hope these things are clear. 
how to solve these simple uh, equations these are the, some of the basic points you should be remembering for z transform okay with some examples i have uh, tried to explain it to you all okay so yeah that's all for this session guys uh, hope you understood these uh, some of the important uh, introduction part so we'll see you in the next session with the the properties of z transform one by one let us discuss uh, each property in each session so a like share subscribe to our channel guys do watch our videos regularly so that's all guys thank you